Yo, bro, have you ever moonwalked before? Do you know how to moonwalk? Yes, I do, actually. Oh, okay, so now you know how. Um, if you don't, if you guys don't know how to moonwalk, this is how you can moonwalk now. So basically, these are the moonwalkers, the special shoes that allows you to actually speed up the way you're walking in real life. This is a starter for a basically a firm, and basically, are they are introducing a new sneaker that allows you to walk at the speed of light. Guys, what is up? Hope you're all doing well, guys. Uh, Shoot Up Podcast episode 79, and we are back. And what we just shown, what, what I just shown you guys just now, um, is it's basically a, a shoe called the, the Moonwalkers, and it's a it's from a startup firm. Um, basically, that they are about eight hundred dollars, bro. For a founder's edition, super early birds get it for like nine hundred pounds, and then you can get um, an edition for like thousand pounds. But these are supposed to be like a a kind of sneaker which allows you to normally walk, but it actually kind of speeds up the process when it kind of roller roller glides you on the surface while you're walking. Is you you can walk naturally. And it kind of engages a rollerblading mechanism to actually allow you to walk. It, it's so fascinating. I saw this the other day. Um, it reminds me of when you go to the airport and actually stand on one of those escalators. But there's flat escalators when you can actually stand yeah. and it takes you. It's like that. It's definitely like that. Um, it was interesting. But yeah, um, it's a startup, a startup company. And it looks um, pretty decent. If, if they can kind of get this in a way where you can actually kind of make it modern day, it's going to speed up a lot of people. I can imagine people walking with these, bro. No, no joke. Before I say anything about this, let me say we appreciate all y'all, um, <laughs> all the support, all the viewers, all the listeners, all the followers. Make sure yep, y'all yep. hit my guy TJ Love Kicks Customs on IG, all the social media platforms. He's there, especially on IG and TikTok. Y'all need to make sure y'all follow him, bro. And myself, 808 Kicks underscore ATL on IG, other platforms also, but mainly on IG. Y'all holler at me. Um, share, share us. If y'all rock with us, share us. Um, please, please. This, we talked about this before, right? We, we, yeah. we came up with a, a crazy idea based on some of the crazy videos we have been seeing. And you, when I when I finished my thought, you was like, no, bro, that's already out there. And yeah, this yeah. is what you was talking about. We were supposed to talk about this like a month ago, but I know yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. forgetting. I'm guessing you forgot too. This to yeah, me, bro, I mean, is it's like more of a vehicle yep, than yep. the actual. It's, to me, I look at this like I look at... Uh, a city bike or a scooter, the electric scooters or whatever. I w- I've got a question for you on that, bro. Recently, I know for a fact that the the, the motorbikes here, you can actually kind of get L plate and drive. You don't need a license, or you do need to semi learn a license. Um, the electric scooters, electric bikes, um, cyclists, and all of that stuff, they don't need a license to be on the road. Is that the same in the US? Yeah. All right, so. The, the, this is this is to me. I'm gonna. Like, this is nothing to do with sneakers and that. But this is my my rage on that actual subject. Is they road users? They could cause accidents. They have no insurance. They could possibly kill themselves. Um, going doing the wrong thing. They have no. They have no training on the road et- etiquette. Um, you see, most of these people run through red lights. You see, most of these people take silly maneuvers, and it's it's the it's the vehicle, it's the guys in the vehicle, like in the cars and and the motorbikes that actually have to be more aware of these people. I don't like that, bro, at all. Like for right. me, they need licensing, they need insurance, and they need to be protected. Like if Listen, if you introduce, if you introduce no, this, no, no, like, no, 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 mm. hold on, you you going you going the wrong way with this, bro. I thought you was, I thought we was on the same page. Wait a minute, these mm-hmm. people, it's an assumed risk when you write. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if it's the same way over there for y'all, but in the U.S., we have 
bike lanes in some areas like in heavy traffic areas there are bike lanes and in a lot of um residential areas there are bike lanes that just a, a skinny lane like a foot wide maybe a foot and a half wide lane for bikes that's on the side of the main roads however when there's no bike lane and cyclists hate riding on the sidewalk especially if you got a road bike if you got a mountain bike even i see people on mountain bikes sometimes on on the street but you can ride a mountain bike on the sidewalk because you got suspension and you know you got uh, knobby tires and all that but people that ride mm -hmm. road bikes for exercise people that actually cycle as a hobby they they on the road like a car but you still in your car have to treat them like a pedestrian and it's so yeah. irritating bro like they actually have i don't know if they're actual laws but their laws nevertheless you have to give a cyclist his space even though he's impeding your space you're in a vehicle a motor vehicle the road is your space a bike has no space on the road bro it to your the point that you made license insurance all that it's an assumed risk in in lieu of having insurance like you can't you can't get cyclist insurance i never heard of cyclist insurance I, I i do i kind of i i agree with you and i disagree with you if if they were if they hit you if they if they hit you or your car and damage it as happened to me bro um i, I was at the lights and some cyclists just zoomed through and smashed my wing mirror right wow. and then and um and and i and i had to, I, lucky enough i had to reposition it it was fine if he'd broken my wing mirror i gotta get that repaired i it's under me bro wait 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 and wait 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 all, 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 wait, all, wait, wait. All, hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Hold on. What is a wing mirror? All right. So basically, a wing mirror is the mirrors on the side of the car, on the doors. That's what we call wing mirrors. You mean a side view mirror? You call them a side view mirror. We call them wing mirrors, right? And that's that's the, that's the obviously terminology that we differ from from the US. Side view mirror, wing mirror. That's what we call it. Basically, it's it's a mirror attached to the door which allows you to see backwards. So he's come through, and swiped that through. But it's not a wing. We call it wing mirror, bro. You call it side view. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's not argue on the little details there. Terminology, bro. <laughs> What is, this? what is this, bro? It's Friday, <laughs> man. I got a message. I got a message. Yeah. So, so he's he's. Oh, hold on, like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. This story ain't important no more. It's your birthday weekend. Oh yeah. Which is why it's Friday. So I need you to hit the round of applause, and I need everybody. <laughs> Right now, as you're watching and listening to this, we go in the comments and tell TJ happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, bro. <laughs> That's what I need for everybody to do. The birthday I, boy I, I, is here. You know what? To celebrate, to celebrate, this is quite funny. To celebrate, my missus was like, do you want a cake? I said, nah, I'd, 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 I'd rather live without a cake. And she, I, I said, she goes, what do you want then? What, what's the big, what can we stick a candle in? So I said, okay, I've got something for you. I'm going to get a one kg T-bone steak. You can stick a can candle in that. <laughs> Good, uh, you know, you're Neanderthal. <laughs> I'll be chewing on the, on the dinosaur bone, bone tomorrow, bro. <laughs> you a whole, you a whole caveman out here in the street, bro. I, I I take I take meat and protein and um, macros really seriously when I'm actually training because I'm actually re training again. Um, I'm I'm actually taking that really seriously, but because obviously it, it, like I want to nurture my body to where it was before pre COVID pre um pre when I hit my um my age I'm at the moment. But bro, I'm not even joking. I'm sitting here. And before the podcast started, my cut my my forearms were cramping, bro. Yeah, because you're a flintstone. <laughs> Pretty you're much. You're a whole flintstone now. You know, you know what? Flintstone. I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I'm not. I'm not even joking. Remember, Fred Flintstone actually gets in his car and they put a T-bone steak. Like the lady puts a T-bone steak mm -hmm. in the car and it falls out. Yeah, that's me, bro. 
That's hundred percent. So me you, ain't, you ain't Fred. You ain't Fred Flintstone. You Ted Flintstone. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, bro. Oh, I got you. Ted <laughs> Flintstone. Out here. <laughs> Big birthday steaks uh, going going down. We getting we getting steaks the size of size of cake, boy. Yeah, you talking about? Oh, uh, but, but I, I we we got time of recording is Friday, but we got barbecue on Saturday, and this is why we're doing it on on yeah. um because we, I'm gonna mash up on Sunday. But this is why we're doing it on Friday. Because no, of, plus it's, it's it's my mom's birthday also. So your birthday is the day before my mom's birthday. So um also we going up for my mama um. For her 65th, we got a little bowling situation Ooh. me and my sister put together for us. So, yeah, we can't. We ain't going to be able to record on the day we usually record because TJ is going to be in recovery mode. <laughs> More than likely, I will too. So, Yo, bro, uh, it's, it's, um, uh- even then, I actually got like I got twenty steaks. Um, we got we got about fifteen or sixteen people coming. Twenty steaks, burgers. We got like you know just big massive Polish sausages as well, bro. We got the works. I don't, like we've even got pork belly, ribs, and all that stuff which, which we're cooking tomorrow. Jack and potatoes be and beans and, and, and no, tuna cool. and all that too. Oh, cool. <laughs> Why, bro? <laughs> you know mayonnaise, what? One day. Mayonnaise on potatoes. Every time. <laughs> right, you guys in the UK, you know what jacket potato is, right? We call oh, what the guys in the states called baked potato. But what for you, bro? One day, no, it's I'm not the same. Get... It's not the same, bro. What, one Ain't day, nobody in what... the US putting tuna on no baked potato, bro. <laughs> Look, guys, I advise you, right? Bake a potato, cut it in half, put some mayo with some tuna. Put Don't it do in. it. <laughs> Go do it. Don't mayo <laughs> on potato. Listen, listen, okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. I finally understand. I don't eat potato salad. Yeah. So of course mayo and potatoes is gonna sound crazy to me because I don't know. People in the black community in the US, potato salad is a reason to fight at the barbecue. <laughs> Really? I'm dead serious, bro. People, listen, man. This is what y'all get on a Friday. People in the black community, and especially in the South, because I'm from the South. I know the South. If one person, the barbecue is going down, right? So you calling people. This is your barbecue. You calling people. Hey, barbecue, blah, blah, blah. You call the one person. Need me to bring some? No, it's okay. You know I my potato salad. Everybody be all right, bring your potato salad. You call some more people. You make another call. You need me to bring something? No, you you sure you don't want no potato salad? You'll have dueling potato <laughs> salads at the barbecue. Yo, bro, have a potato salad contest. <laughs> look, look, and it it'll it'll be like this, right? It'll be like this. Yeah, uh we should be straight on potato salad. TJ said he was bringing potato salad. Nah, bro. And TJ potato salad ain't it. Tell him you need mine. I'm going to bring mine. And you taste his. And then you taste mine. And you let me know. It, bro, it'd be a whole thing. People be walking around the, the event. Bro, this is no word of a lie. Y'all let him know. Get in the comment. Get in the deal. Let him know how serious potato salad is oh, in, no, the United no, States, no. in the South, bro. People will be I, I, going I, I, around forcing the potato salad on other people to get them to say that it's good. I promise you, bro. I bro, promise. It's, it's serious business. She, she, I just want to sell this potato salad, bro. That's the only way I'm actually... Uh, that's like prime marketing there, bro. <laughs> they ain't going to do that. They ain't going to do that because everybody everybody don't deserve to have potato salad. They good, so they say. She, <laughs> I she don't know. know. But yeah, but like going back to food, like like we um, there's this there's the difference the differences between the culinary um uh, aspects of 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 the uh, US and the UK. I think I think this program I think this podcast is pretty much gonna be US versus UK today, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, it ain't it ain't gotta be, but that's what this podcast is about. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's 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 not on purpose, y'all. It's just a it's a part of the, what it is, you know. That's what it is. It's magical, though, bro. It's still but magical. But no, bro. Um, 
happy happy birthday to you, man. Um, I wish I could be there as usual. I wish I could be there. I wish we could. Anyway, let me not get sentimental. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday. Hopefully, everybody. Did you really get a big old steak for you? Yeah. Yeah, you need to take pictures. We need that on IG. Go, go, go. bro! It's already on my stories. Go no, check my bro. Stories. We need. I don't watch stories, dog. <laughs> I'm so I'm horrible at watching stories. <laughs> I don't watch nobody's stories, dog. Ever. The only time I watch a story is when I get tagged in it. That, I mean, and that's oh, yeah. straight up. That's straight up, bro. bro. Even when I post stories, that's a weapon. That should be against the law. <laughs> I I don't lie, bro. Like build uh, a house, <laughs> house, house full of T-bone steaks. <laughs> that look like three bricks. <laughs> three well, bricks put together. It's really thick. It's really thick. I'm not even joking, <laughs> bro. What? Hold on. So the barbecue tomorrow. What? Where? What is the steak doing now? What's happening with the steak right now? Um, I'm gonna go marinate it after this podcast and leave it overnight, and I'm gonna cook it. Um, but basically, uh, my girlfriend's like, "You need to know how to cook a big fat steak." I was like, "Yes." I got, I'm a, probably... I got a stupid marinade recipe, but I'm gonna I'm let you rock out. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I, I've, I've got, I'm normally marinated quite well. Um, so I'm gonna try and do that. But we got corn, we got all this other stuff, but it's gonna be great. great. Um, we might get some watermelon as well. To be honest, it's gonna be a hot day tomorrow, so we might, might go and grab some watermelon in the morning. Just put in the fridge, nice cool watermelon, bro. That's the, yeah. that's the shout hits, out, bro. shout out to you, man. And uh, shame, shame on these <laughs> side mirror swiping, these wing mirror swiping. Cycling, <laughs> y'all trash. Yo, bro, like some of these people are dangerous. Drive a real motor uh, vehicle, you bum. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen accidents caused by cyclists, bro. Um, Man, I'm running through red lights and smashing into a motorcycle. We've seen, we've seen it on Shoe Dogs React. We've done it. We've seen. Yeah, it. drive safely. No, if you. We got the green co- green cross code here. Know your green cross code. Know the rules of the road. Make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you don't put yourself in danger, especially if you're a cyclist or, you, or you're an electric scooter. Bro, <laughs> just what on that, bro. Whatever, you, man. What's up? What's up? Two seconds on that, bro. I was driving the other day. About It's a 20-mile-an-hour road, right? I'm driving the other day, 20 miles an hour. Normal. And I just see, shoo, like, what the hell was that? <laughs> electric cyclist, right? But a guy on an electric moped, right? Doing like 40. No gear on, bro. You might as well be riding that naked. No safety helmet, no nothing, bro. You 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 hit you hit something, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, be safe, be safe, guys. Just I'm just saying. On, on, just on to sports, man. On to sports. On to sports. We, we, we didn't ran off uh, almost twenty minutes already. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, basically, the, the women's football is actually entering its last stages. The semi-finals are actually here now. Uh, Spain's qualified, uh, but they beat the Netherlands. Um, I think yesterday, uh, Japan lost to Sweden two one. Um, to, to, to today, I think tomorrow we got Australia France, which is going to be quite um, interesting one because uh, Australia's uh, holding the actual tournament, so that's going to be quite interesting to see who comes to that. I am actually rooting for Australia to be honest on that one um, to beat the French, and then obviously um, England versus Colombia without their star player James, who um, ended up stamping on a Nigerian. Listen, man, soccer is way more dangerous than I think people think about when they think about the sport, like casual fans. Because you, <sighs> elbows and knees and people jumping, trying yeah. to do headers at the same, bro, I just seen some crazy stuff. You got to be on point out there if you play yeah. pro soccer, bro, as fast and strong as them dudes is. And skillful as they is, the way they think about the game, like bro, you you make the wrong move, and you can be in the hospital for real, bro. One wrong move, you you could probably end somebody's career. You could snap their leg or something like that. Like some of the tackles that fly used to fly in about ten years ago is is deadly. Um, if you, if you, 
yeah, yeah. But but also, I think I, I know the men's game is quite deadly in, term, in terms of the the tackling and stuff like that. I just, bro, I feel I feel the women's football, uh, women's football, they're a bit naughty. Let's say, I'm gonna I could use another paraphrase, but they're a bit naughty. I'm talking about hair pulling. I'm talking about stamping. I'm talking about a lot of underhanded things that I see. I was like, yo, um. I thought the men's game was good, was bad. We, women can get really bad, bro, in terms of football. Talking about women. Who want to deal with an upset woman? Nobody, Who? bro. Nobody. The, bro, I'll be running from my wife when she mad at somebody else. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. You either, you either sit there and hear it, and and hear the complaint, or Bro, you just it, basically just walk away. <laughs> and you and listen, listen. That ain't no shade to to none of the, the women because I know men do it too, right? But man, ain't no, ain't nothing like it, bro. Ain't nothing like it on the planet, bro. When a woman get pissed off, oh my god, dog. it's it's a whole. They take it to a whole another level. Bro, I mean stuff that you 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 like. How how did your brain even formulate that? Like, why you ain't running somebody a million dollar corporation? You just came up with this diabolical scheme. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, oh my god, bro, a woman scorned. That's all I'm saying. Don't, don't scorn a woman. And and listen, scoring 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 come in levels too. You don't determine score; they do. Yeah, Ooh, you're in trouble. <laughs> what, 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 what's the famous saying? Happy, happy, wife, life, happy, happy life. life, Yeah, that's the one. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah, so so just just enjoy the company of your of your lady, your partner, your your other half, and don't upset them, guys. Uh, but yeah, like, it, it, you got You got to have spice in the in the. Um, it's kind of like the NBA, bro. Um, when you look at the NBA. When we look at pro sports in general, we have to remember because we call we call the, the players at the end of the bench, we call them bombs, and we say they ain't good. That same person in whatever res, uh, respective sport would go to the park and let you have it. Easy. Yeah. Because they are in the, the professional ranks. They might not be good as a professional. They might not be as good as your best player or your favorite player, but when they come outside, I hear with the regular people, they gonna smoke you, bro. <laughs> so we we gotta, hey man, respect respect to all the athletes, man. I love to see in basketball and in in football, um, international football, where it gets spicy because it, it adds drama and it adds um, yeah. it adds narrative. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Storyline to to the season and to the games and to the playoffs and to the championships. Yeah, yeah you got you never... got to remember you got you got to remember these professional players. Their they their worst is not even your best, and that's you got at all you got at yeah. all <laughs> at all, bro. There's levels to this game, bro. There's levels to this game. Um, but yeah, the, 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 that's interesting. And obviously, the Premier League is starting to kick off the first match as we as we're talking. It's playing Matt. The champions are playing at the moment. Man City. Um, they're winning two 0 against Burnley. Is it Burnley? I think so. Yeah, Burnley. Um, so yeah, so that's that's quite interesting. The, the, for the Premier League is kicked off. Um, I think the championships on underneath it, the, the divisions underneath it, kicked off for about a couple of weeks back or a week back. So yeah, everything's kicking off, bro. Everything's restarting. It's uh, the season is commencing. Um, and it's gonna get exciting. There's a lot of drama in the transfer window as well, but we can we can. We could talk about that, but obviously it's a, it's a lot going on, so it's gonna be quite interesting to see where players end up. But yeah, bro, I'm excited. Premier League's back. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out to that man. Um, I'm I'm chilling right now. I got another like a month and a half. Um, summer league is over. <clears throat> There's a lot of tournaments, uh, other summer leagues, amateur summer leagues going on, but most of the NBA players they chilling to a training camp. And I can't wait, bro. It's a lot of narratives going on that's going to be interesting to follow. Uh, Kyrie and Luca, are they going to be able to make it work? Um, is Dame going to stay in Portland? 
is Zion gonna come back and be Zion again? Um, that's a lot. Of what what I'm wondering what my Hawks gonna look like without John Collins. Um, what what's gonna happen when John Morant come back? What what is LeBron gonna look like in year 21? <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be a lot, bro. So, um, I'm I'm just waiting. I'm waiting patiently. I, I prob, I'm gonna probably get my wife been telling me I need to get the NBA season pass, so I'm gonna probably do that so I can pay be able to pay more attention this year. Yeah, that's a lot going on this year. Yeah, there's something something about sports that actually captivates a lot of people that are actually into sports. So we, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. But um, talk, talking about um, talking about staying on sports for a second, kind of moving into quick strikes. Here we go again with this. <laughs> it's not not letting me get my screen share off. This is gonna be a problem for me, bro. This I don't is know. Really what, that, that's anyway. been happening to you quite recently. Yeah, man. Maybe, maybe uh, shout out, sh- shout out to Amanda Serrano. I'm not a boxing uh, guy. I enjoy boxing when I see it, but uh, I don't follow boxing. But I saw um, Amanda Serrano fight last weekend on the uh, undercard of the Jake Paul Nate Diaz fight. Oh, bro! And she oh, bro. She, she had on Jordan Eleven. The women's Jordan 11 Midnight Navies. Ooh. And then I see this Instagram post from Nice Kicks where she's wearing the Fearless Ones. Ooh. The, the, the high UNC Chicago. She got red laces in, in the right shoe, blue in the left. That's the fight from last weekend with the Midnight Navy 11s. And she she beat the brakes off off old girl. I can't remember her name. Katie, it was Katie something, I think. Um, she's an OG fighter. This everybody was saying this would probably be her last fight, and it looked like it should be her last fight because Amanda Serrano went in on that girl. Um, Concords. I mean, you shouldn't have to look at nothing else after you see her fight in Concords. Like, but <laughs> you have to see her fight in Concords to be able to respect some of these other pitches because she also fought in the denim six, which I respect. Mm-hmm. I know you yeah. respect because you got multiple pairs. You customize mine, I customize mine. She went with the OG uh, denim six with the denim outfit to go with it. I respect it. She also fought in Concord six rings, which I kind of don't understand because she got Concord 11s. And she's not old enough to really know the OG release of the six rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna let her live because she wore Concord 11, right? She <laughs> wore fearless ones. She also wore the women. Oh, that's that's dope. That's Bur- dope. That's- burgundy. burgundy. <laughs> 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 the Burgundy Women's Jordan Elevens, bro. She is, oh my god, man! I, I like the way we left off at last episode, say Burgundy, and then we can continue this episode, say Burgundy. Bur- Bur- you know what time? You know what time it is, though. This weekend, it yeah, is Burgundy weekend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Amanda, Amanda, she she rocked with her eleven. She got the uh, eleven low citrus right here. Uh, she got the FIBA 12s in another fight. Oh, that, like she, that the FIBA 12s are an amazing sneaker, bro. Amazing sneaker. I, I have that in my rotation. The, the gold on that back of that actual sneaker, so phenomenal, bro. That actually, is, that looked like the same chick that she fought in the last fight, actually, that she fighting in the FIBA 12s. So, yeah, man, um, shout out to Amanda Serrano. In a big way, cause she she putting on for the sneaker culture, bro. Yeah, but I like to see athletes wear like like really special sneakers, like especially Jordans. Um, but yeah, a lot of athletes are starting to rock. And we were talking about how cleats and how uh, baseball sneakers, all of that stuff, is coming through as well. It's kind of expanding, which is good, which is definitely good. But yes, let's let's move on to a surprise quick strike. Um, yo, bro. An hour or two hours before we started this podcast. 
Don't get set it up. Just give it to me. Don't set it up. Just give it to me. <laughs> the full tone blue Adam and year fives, bro. This is ba- basically looks like this is the alternative version, the second pair of the Adam and year five that's actually releasing in I think November time. So this, obviously, um, we have to take this with a pinch of salt because some of these pictures, obviously, all the time aren't aren't the best. But yeah, you can scroll, see, man. I'm gonna scroll these pictures for you, bro. These are nice. These are these are nice, bro. That's him. <laughs> no, that's him. Hold on, go back, go back, go back to the second picture. That's him. That's him. Go back. No, well, before that, the one before that. No, 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 no. Before, before. <laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> the next one, the second picture. Oh, that is the second picture. Okay. Yeah. Third picture. My bad. <clears throat> look at the cuts. We're looking at the cuts. That's yeah. him, bro. That's him. I'm excited. Uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, this this is nice. Oh this is very God. nice. Back. Look at the back. Oh. Uh, the sock liner looks like he's got all A's all over it, bro. A, 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 A. a. <laughs> Go back, man. Go back, please. Oh, man. Look at that, bro. <laughs> okay. We're salivating over these. Over these. I'm in here. These are the photon blues. Uh, second, I feel like I'm hearing that either the 22nd or the 2nd of November. Hold on, let me have a check. It is, I think it's in November time, definitely in November time. But yeah, these are nice. These are so nice, bro. Look at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you listen to this, go and check out the MMU. Oh, uh, photon blue. I like these. Better than the black versions, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. Uh, hopefully, this is not women's exclusive either because I'll be annoyed. I don't care what it is. It could be. It could be dog exclusive. I'm getting these. <laughs> Yo, bro. Um, that's 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 dope. Uh, I if they, if, well, they grade school, if they was grade schools, <coughs> my my wife got them. Yeah, right. these are nice. <coughs> my niece, are my nice. nephew, somebody got. I got to. I got to buy this shoe for for retail. This money. is nice. That shoe, right? One hundred percent. I have to buy that for retail money for somebody. Jeez, is, 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 these are the photon blues. Like they definitely. I don't want to talk about this no more. It's right, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Then, like we like we always do. Like I want to. I want to talk about what is Khalid cooking. Bro, I'm t- cause like this. Really- the, we we have we have we have to treat this. We have to treat this like um his music career. We have to look at his sneaker career because that's what it is now. Since he mm-hmm. got official release, he now has a sneaker career, like yep. a Travis or like a Kanye. Uh, same thing with Tiana. She now has a sneaker career if she wants to continue. Um, I think she had collabs with Ford, though. But anyway, <clears throat> I think we got to look at this in music terms. I think we should look at all these sneakers, yeah. the collaborations in music, like album terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's because, a body of work. Yeah. And then when they drop, we rate them. The only difference is with the music, everybody gets it. With the sneakers, mm-hmm. not everybody gets it, which is unfortunate. However, <clears throat> with Khaled, it was his first one. Is is a hit to the community, but in the overall um, perspective, I think is is a bit of a. I don't want to call it a dud, and it it wasn't necessarily you know what, mid. You know what? It just didn't hit. It didn't hit as hard as it's, it should have. In, it's in underappreciated. Opinion. It's underappreciated. Yes, I'm fair. gonna I'm gonna say definitely. Um, I I'm gonna I'm still gonna keep the same energy, bro. I have I have I've a crimson bliss. I have the white variation. Um, I'm, I'm I would, I basically. The, the the other two variations, the blue and the purple variation, I think he needs to drop them one day. 
I I, I think he, I, I, I think he so. left us. Hmm? I don't think so. I I, I would like I, I, it, I, my that's my hopeful thought of one day he might release him. He's left. Bro, he's left. Bro, um, he's left a place. Let it, let it. Let it. Elevate. Let it be a legend. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We, 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 he's he's done that with the three. We still need ways. those. We still as much as we as sneakerheads, active sneak sneakerheads. Yeah, we want we want the stuff to we want to be able to get it, but we need we I think we also need stuff that we can't get our hands on. Yeah, I agree with that. Definitely agree with that. <clears throat> uh, this is this this is a hot take for you now. Watch this hot take. Okay. I think if you'd release the other two and let the Crimson Bliss and the White Pair not release, it would have been more successful. Not, not say, not by by the way, by the way, by the way, not saying that the, the two pairs that he released aren't dope because they're, I think, they're amazing. I was about to swear what, there. What about 50 50? If you release, if swap, you release a, swap the swap the sale for the purple, yo, bro, release, release the purple one and the crimson bliss and keep the blue one. And the white one as PEs. I think the white one would be the white one is the more coveted of the two anyway because it was a more limited release. Yeah, but yeah. the blue one as the the blue one as the GR and the Crimson Bliss as the limited release. Yeah, I yeah. think would have would have made a big difference too. Not that big of a difference, but it would. I think it would have shook it up. Uh, I I I think you I think you're hundred percent right. I'm not saying he released the wrong pairs. I I love the pairs he's released. No, no, no. I loved. I I I think it's magical. But I think, I, yo, bro, it, it, we're we're talking we're talking like sneakers because we want we want what we want. I think that the strategy was not to release that blue and purple pair intentionally to actually keep people yeah. interested in that blue. Um, because yeah, I that's th why we th need it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but saying that, like the, the, the DJ Khaled, uh, we the best freeze. I think they're dope. The blue variation, the red variation, the suede variation, they're dope. I I do I do like them. I wish that that's another wish that I hope that one day we would ever be graced to see that. But we had we had we had a variation, the red variation, and blue variation, come out that was kind of a maybe a homage to the the DJ Khaled. But not really a homage. It was an independent sneaker in itself, anyway. Um, but for for I would these are the I, I, like iconic pairs that you really want to see. Now the question is, well, he's done a three, he's done a five. I keep thinking he might do a four. Uh, he might be a golf sneaker, bro. I, I, I it might be a golf four or something. <coughs> what, what 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 do you think he could be cooking? I don't know want to speculate because we, did, we yeah. didn't need that too much. I don't even want to speculate. I just he want because he he need to breathe. He do he doing his advertisement thing. Um, <clears throat> whether he's getting a check from Nike or not, I think he is. Either he's getting a check from them or he's working on the honor system. But I think he getting the bag for everything that he does that's Nike related. And. Um, he on he on board, bro. So he ain't got a rush. He on and board. Way, nobody way, nobody has a rush. Travis has a high volume because Travis is number one. Yeah. Concepts has a high volume. Union has a high volume. Now the Whitaker Group has a high volume. They dropping a a, a phone posit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying in DC, like so. Cali's volume. His volume doesn't deserve to be there right now because of how the initial release went. Yeah, I I, I agree. I don't think we're gonna see Khaled. And, and I don't he, think we're gonna see Khaled. Came, he came in at a at a funny point in the game too. Yeah, um, yeah. When the get the win is a big low in the game, like I, I'm gonna the the circumstances behind the Jordan Five DJ Khaled anyway is that fives don't sell out. Um, not not in the UK by the way. Five fives fives aren't that kind of. A predominant sneaker that a lot of people go and pick up because some people want to, some people kind of pick them up. Like me and you love fives, so we will go and pick them up. But other people don't look at fives the same way we do. So it, it's kind of more of a, it's it's like a 
that frees are becoming more pro- prominent. Free, free, freeze are now circulating into that rotation where people are thinking about freeze. They don't, people don't think about fives like like we do, bro. Um, and obviously, he came into the game when there's a big low. It all plays a factor, but the thing is, it was mass produced as well. The crimson blisters were mass produced as well. But all of that plays into a factor, but it doesn't mean the sneakers aren't dope. And shout out to some of the comments in there. If you read these comments, like basically some some of the people were saying that the best player to drop in the wild and the quality was amazing. I know, I know you had kind of an issue with quality, but in general, the quality on the sneakers well, that was, was that was quality control. It wasn't the quality yeah. of the sneaker; it was the quality of the production. Control. So yeah, I ain't I ain't got nothing to bad to say about that Cali Five, bro. It had that. Had that little stain not been because I'm not gonna buy on resale. I bought yeah. them on a restock. It was more or less an impulse buy because I love fives and it is a collab. I wanted to have it in hand and at least be able to look at it and make my own judgments. Like my own pair that I know I bought from Nike, not somebody else's pair. So um, and that ain't no shade of, to nobody, you know, that I'm close to, but um <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm glad I had it. And had it not been for that defect, I probably would have would still have it right now. And I probably would have would have worn it by now, but it's not my type of sneaker because of the color. Yeah. But who, but the thing is, when's the last time you saw a crimson purple color? People don't wear it. I ain't seen them all summer. I ain't seen them. Bro. And that's disappointing. But who puts who puts light blue on the midsole? And and peach on the upper, uh, you bro, that sneak is amazing, bro. Hundred percent, nah, it's amazing. fine. It's fine. <laughs> Can't nobody say nothing uh, bad to me about that sneaker, bro. You can talk about the release, uh-huh. or, or what you know, the reception to it, if you want to. You sleep if you don't think that that shoe is one of the top sneakers from last year. You sleep. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say wait a couple of years, bro. I'm gonna say wait a couple of years when 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 it's all gone and it's all done and dusted, and when people look back at that sneaker, people will reminisce and think, "Why did I sleep?" And I, bro, it is it's dope. It's that sneaker is absolutely dope. But yeah, we can't wait to see DJ Khaled come up with another another. I don't think we're gonna see anything this this year. This 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 year is done. I think 2024 we might see. I think back end of 2024 we might see an actual Khaled um, sneaker. It will be it will be interesting to see what he comes up with. 100. percent Yeah. Speaking of uh, what you came up with, LeBron James. LeBron James. He back. LeBron ain't playing either. LeBron has been consistent since his first sneaker and this thing. This is the thing about LeBron. I don't want to do a comparison between you know who. Yeah. When you look at LeBron's legacy with Nike by itself, the evolution of the sneakers from his youth, the growth in technology, the the change in uh, design language throughout the years, the the trends. He fell a little bit behind trend wise because he went more sport, more uh, utility, more pure basketball sneaker. And being the type of player that he is, I think his shoes fell off in the the mid to uh, high teens. And I think yeah. more sneakerheads would agree. But now he on this. Kobe esque, Kyrie esque, KD esque, PG esque silhouette. This this uh, Greek freak esque silhouette that all the Nike basketball athletes are running with. This Jaw One esque, and it's all derivative of Kobe and Kyrie Irving's signature sneakers. Am I am I off? No, bro. They, they, they like um, like like they say, um, 
skill shop and skill knife shop and knives and i think um when you look at when you start looking at like this lebron 21 i'm surprised i i it was only a, 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 a couple of months ago we were talking about lebron 20 um but Le, lebron 21 coming up is definitely if you didn't tell me this was a lebron i would think this is a Kyrie. if i'm honest LeBron, it, it really LeBron, he gonna he gonna give us a shoot every season we know that so we, yeah, ain't, yeah. we ain't gotta wonder no more yeah, yeah, but yeah, but it definitely the, the colorway is dope. I like I like the gradient effect on the back. Uh, I like the trans like more purplish translucent outsole on it. It, de- it definitely is a dope dope sneaker. Uh, it, it it definitely it's definitely remi- It definitely does look like a Kobe, you know, and a um and a kind of Kyrie intermix. Definitely dope. Definitely dope sneaker. This has got uh look like brush leather. This um. Violet dust colorway is like oh, a no. faded purple um, with yellow um, ghost ghosted swoosh with the yellow drop shadow. That's crazy. Yeah, it looked like crazy. it's uh, embossed too in that leather. You know, this leather, this leather looks like the the I'm on my Air Four or like the um, the twelve, the the upside yeah, twelve. Yeah, the um the obsidian or Jim G- G- red Jim red twelve as well. That obsidian. that had the same color. Obsidian, the obsidian, yeah. the blue and white, not the not the indigo. Or was it indigo? Not the OG twelve, the one that came out a few years ago. Oh yeah, the indigo twelve. It must have been indigo. Yeah, 12. yeah, yeah, indigo, yeah, indigo. Look at a slock sock liner to that, bro. It looks like a car. It looks velvet. Like a creamy, comfortable sneaker, bro. It's velvet. That's that's the I mean, and it's it's the Lakers colorway, bro. We know purple is a royal color. Uh, you throw that maze on it. The heel look real nasty. Um, as, as far as casual wear is concerned, that heel is very, very nasty. I would not want to um go outside with my heel sticking out like that, but um, I like them, bro. I like them. Zoom air. That leather is, bro. Look how thick that leather is. This is a basketball shoe. Yeah, bro. It looks like it looks like elephant nuts at level, bro. I'm not even joking. Man, you better come <laughs> on with it. LeBron ain't playing with y'all, bro. And I bet you this is gonna be one of the most comfortable basketball shoes this season. It look, definitely looks like it, bro. Definitely looks like it. I, I can't, I can't wait to see the different colorways on this because obviously these, we know this is Lakers colorway, so I can't wait to see whether he comes back with um, a different variation of Big Bang, uh, South Beach, Miami, bro. Uh, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna see all of it for the for the for the visual audience. Um, is he gonna do an all black with a white back or vice versa? He, it's gonna be a panda. Yeah. With a with a with a with a third color or the tertiary color, mm-hmm. I I want to see all black with the white back and white outsole. And yeah. you know how I feel about white. I don't like white outsoles, but as a basketball sneaker, I think that'll be hard. Yeah, and the thing is, the stuff with like Kobe sneakers. I think Kobe started to trans translate back into like casual wear. But if you talk, if you if you look at anything like Kobe's, Kyrie's, um, even the latest Lebron's, they're all geared with basketball tech, and they're all geared to be on court. Um, and mm-hmm. the, even even though we even though us we're sneakerheads, we love to see it because basically it kind of sh- you're showcasing some that magnitude of excellence and te- technology to actually rock on a basketball court um and we like obviously we know kobe's coming back with all of these ranges but now not only is kobe doing kobe like kobe range is doing kobe range um and they're coming back and it's it's only about a matter of days before a matter of a couple of weeks before we see kobe mamba day which is gonna be absolutely amazing as well, as well hmm. to see it's going it's going to be crazy because now we've athletes have got options they, they could either go for uh, old Kyrie sneakers. They could either go for LeBron sneakers. They either could go for Jar sneakers. They either could go for any uh, any athletes because they, even though they're similar, they're different. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot of Jaws. The, they the colorway has been coming fast and furious for the Jaws. So um, he, yeah, uh, Jaws ja, ja is is gunning for that number one uh, sneaker spot for sure. With, uh, Gun is not with, the best word to use with that phrase. Oh bro. my bad. 
<laughs> you just use fast and furious and gunning, bro. <laughs> I, th I think we need to retire <laughs> shooter ones, bro. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> next quick strike. Say it. Next, quick strike. Like next quick strike. I could call it. Let's let's have a look at this because um it was quite interesting to see this one. <laughs> Um, it looks like um, Travis Scott brought out Kanye West in Rome um, and uh, obviously we can't put the music because it'd be copywritten but, uh, on YouTube so um, yeah it looks like um, Travis brought out his um, his um, mentor Kanye West <laughs> yeah um, Kanye was on that I'm, I'm watching the video y'all go check out the video um, because the video is about the fact that he is wearing the uh, cut the check ones, yeah, with the, the, the white black variation or the pan variation. Need, cut the check. Yeah, I like I like the way they looking on him. Yeah, I really, really like that. Kanye is a little guy, but Travis Scott is really tall. Yo, bro, but like no, um, bro, I want I want them sneakers. He got on Nike size too. He got on ankle braces. Travis is a beast. He got on ankle braces. He got a knee pad on. He got on shoulder pads. Like he finna go play football. Step your show game up. This man, <laughs> that, bro, he got a whole movie set out there. He that's used to have he, roller coasters. Uh, Astro World, he had roller coasters, bro. Like, and Kanye looked like a mess. No, uh, all I'm gonna, oh, bro, I got a theory behind why he hides his face. I will tell you that in a bit. Um, but basically, that's uh, that's Travis gearing up for crowd diving, bro. That's just why I think he think if I if I dive and nobody catches me, at least I can, you know, I'll be fine. Words <laughs> 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 in his mind, I'll be fine. I'll show the pads on. I got knee protection. If I dive into the crowd and nobody picks me up, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, but, um, you got football gloves on too. Oh no, he got on <laughs> MMA gloves. <laughs> he ready to ready fight, fight and everything. Fight. Look, and a, a fan of because he's known for um pulling fans on stage, right? Having them doing uh stage dives. A fan came on stage and Travis was like, nah, you need to turn up. If you're gonna be okay, you need to turn up. And the fan was like, well, what, what you want me to do? And Travis said, I can't tell you to do nothing. Of yeah. course, the fan knew exactly what Travis wanted him to do. He wanted him to stay in dive like he always want people to stay in dive. <laughs> so, <laughs> Travis to learn his lesson. He's not influencing nobody to do nothing but listen to his music. Shout yeah, out to Travis. Do what you want to do. <laughs> but by the way, um, my theory behind why Kanye West hides his face is um, no face, no case is, is, is probably what I'm going to refer to. But no face, no assassination is probably what I'm going to say. <laughs> if you can't recognize the guy, you ain't taking that shot, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> is that Kanye? Is that Kanye duplicate? Is that somebody else? You never know. <laughs> that could be Conrad Boy. <laughs> it could be anybody. It could be anybody. But yeah, Kanye is doing what Kanye does best, and actually, kind of um. Me being melodramatic, let's just say. <laughs> but um, Yo, check this out, bro. Check this out, bro. Check this out. We did a we did a video, and we 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 talked about a thing on that video. The video ain't dropped yet, so I don't want to bring it all the way up. But you'll you'll know what I mean when I show you this. I'm a bit confused. Remember that one meme we saw about grade school and women's sneakers? Yeah. You see this this sneaker right here? Is this is this the one that you told me not to look up the other day? The grade school D D D O Y was it D O Y P was it? Defensive player of the year. The, the, this is the Jordan 1 mid. Jordan 1 mid grade school. <laughs> D-P-O-Y. Oh, so, that's a mouthful. Let's, let's, let's take a second. <clears throat> let's take a second. 
to recognize the fact that Michael Jordan, arguably at this point in history, arguably the greatest player to ever play the game of basketball, is one of not many guards to win defensive player of the year. Yeah. Gary Payton, uh, Jordan, and a select few of the greatest guards, small men to ever play in the NBA, win defensive player of the year. <sighs> Why is the defensive player of the year story being taken by Nike and Jordan brand to a mid grade school Jordan one? A mid grade school Jordan one defensive player of the year. It's got a special emblem on the tongue and everything. Can, can, I, can I say one more thing? No, you can't say nothing. Because is that, is that, is that a zoom bro, company? Look, look, look. No, it's a mid grade school. Mid. Well, look at the outsole. Look at the outsole, bro. I'm I'm telling you to look at the outsole. Look at this. It's not a zoom. That's the zoom <laughs> gradient. Yeah. But this is this is not a zoom, bro. This is not the first time Jordan has done transverse and yeah. on ones, right? The Gatorade ones got mm -hmm. transduce and also with the Gatorade snap on the bottom. So they can do whatever they want to do. Oh no, uh, I'm 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 talking I'm talking about the, it's the, the fact that it's cool. it's got the gradient also to me is a, a matter of the front having turquoise elephant print with gold lines and the back has red elephant print with gold lines and there's a gold swoosh a gold metallic swoosh and gold metallic wings logo with another gold metallic underlay on this beautiful colorway that's a gray school mid this is trash i'm sick bro why is this a gray school mid do you, would you did you want it did you want this to be a high If it was a high, I'll be waiting on it. I think this is a bit dis disrespectful for that sneaker because basically, I I know you I know you'd wait on this. I, I it kind of looks like a dope sneaker in 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 actual in actual fact. But the problem is, it's like this sneaker is like you're in a boxing match and you're about to knock out a guy, and you're like, take this left hook to grade school, take this right hook to mid. <laughs> Take this uppercut. Look at the gradient outsole. Yo, bro, it's a knockout. And if it were, if it was a high, you would have at least had a chance. Oh, take this logo on the tongue. It's special. Bang, you're done. You're done. And you're like, what about me? I, I was like, I wanted that. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it kind of that analogy comes into my mind. It's like, you know what? Let, let's get let's throw everything at it and make it disrespectful. And it's like it's just like a slap in the face. It is kind of like a slap in the face, but it kind of gives anybody that's in that grade school range an option. And you know, you know, grade school and mids quite look quite nice together. Like uh, some people love mids. Whoever the people that wear grade school, like the small feet gang, actually prefer mids because they actually suit better than highs do. Um, and from that perspective alone, that's probably ideally match. Oh, bro, look at that! Look at that house! Look at that elephant print! That's dope. Why it's blue and not, gold, bro? Like, come on. Why did they not gold? release this as a high, and bro? And red and gold, like, bro. Look at, look at, <sighs> dual, dual logos, MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. With obviously, mm -hmm. come on, man. Come oh on. yeah, that that, that that's on, kind man. of bad, bro. That's that's kind this of bad. Is, this 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 dirty pool, this dirty pool right here, Nike Jordan Brand. This ain't this ain't right. This ain't right right here. I would I want to take you out of court, but I want to scratch this out. This yeah. is not right. Y'all do this to us. This bro, remember the um what was the fours that came out? The blue, red, and white, yellow fours. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was like a kid's GS. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that shoe would have went. Grown people wanted that shoe. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't know why they do that though. This is the Jordan One version of that phone. Yeah, but I I don't same understand colors why they and do everything. That. 
but I don't understand why they do that. Do you understand why they do that? Like, uh, maybe, maybe this create their own line of like GS. What did you say? They hate us. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. Maybe, maybe they're quite trying to create a special line for GS um, Small Feet Gang. Maybe, um, I don't know, bro. Uh, this is the, this is the second variation of a, of a, yeah, they did it to a four and they did it to a one. GS and can give it the whole exclusive uh, range and the, the, bro. It is. Why won't they let them? Why won't they let them us? <laughs> You actually really sad, but this is gonna this is gonna actually um, brighten up your day. Um, Nick, moving on, probably to one of the last quick strikes of today, right? Um, I, I want to say shout out, a massive, massive, massive shout out to anybody that all the wrestlers out there, AEW, WWE, whatever now, NXT, whatever you do, because like when you have people come and rock, uh, Steph, Seth, freaking Rollins. Rocking the Crocs collaboration with Mischief, the big yellow boot. Yo, bro, they, I'm this is not the first time. Roman Reigns is rocking like Jordan Ones and all of that stuff. The Bloodlines rocking all of this stuff. AEW putting fireworks in their sneakers to knock out people, all of that stuff, bro. But yo, that that's dope. And the best, the best thing about this, and this, this is not even, um, this wasn't even SummerSlam. This was in just a regular, like, uh, what do you call it? smackdown episode and when when you when you have stuff like this and then you see <laughs> the bro, you're not from the super kick me with no big red boot on bro. <laughs> actually that that's i said i said that the way i was supposed to too the shoe is actually called just for uh fyi the shoe is actually called the crocs times mischief big red yep. boot yellow yeah yeah so that's kind of goofy. I think, I mean, it's a collab. Y'all could have called it Big Yellow. Y'all, it's me. Y'all missed it. Y'all can do it. I think that's more mischief though, calling it the Big Red Boot Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> 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 they put mischief in the title too, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah but I, they but did that. They did I'm, that to troll. I've been seeing this for weeks. I'm, I'm not, not even weeks, months. Like um, every time I watch like um, WWE, I'm actually getting back, getting back into my wrestling, which is great. I have watched uh, Money in the Bank and I watched um, SummerSlam, and like I'm getting back into the like back into the whole storytelling of WWE, which is great. Every time I see them, every time I see them, kind of rock footwear they're rocking some heat bro i'm talking like and we see i've seen we've seen athletes rock them now it's translating into um into like the wrestling world and it's it's great to see it's absolutely amazing to see because bro oh, this... shout out to shane mcmahon shane O'Mac been pulling out heat for decades yes but bro this is how he came out <laughs> i was yeah. like yo he's rocking the big yellow boot <laughs> Hey man, that's freaking rollings, bro. Add, add, add dollars at work. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. But these athletes are actually wearing the, the, these actual sneakers because they love them. They want to wear them, and like it, it's a testament. You sometimes publicity just comes naturally when you actually kind of some athletes do love your sneakers because they don't you don't need to be an athlete i don't think seth rollins is actually a jordan athlete or a mischief athlete or any no, athlete or no. athlete he just wears what he wants and yeah. this is his attire and obviously it's flamboyant he wants to wear something like unique and he came out with the crocs it's mischief well, he, it, it wouldn't make sense it wouldn't make sense to him for him to sign with a uh, brand because then he wouldn't be able to wear the, the other stuff. Yeah, but you, I, I, this, this kind of captivated my actual um view, and I was like, what? <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. Shout uh, out to Steph Rollins. Shout out, Mischief Man. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. Have you seen these corporate got them airship? I did see that actually. Um, I did say I did say I did. I was we were making a program up yesterday, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" But then I did see that these, these, these are the inverse of the what do you call it? 
Nigel Sylvester's rather than being like Lever on the uppers and and fabric like a suede on the actual back panel on the swoosh, it's the it's the it's the inverse where you got the suede fabric on the uppers and the lever on the actual back heel and the swoosh. Yeah, that's dope. That's actually dope. Bro, it's is I like the teal colorway as well. Yeah, all teal Whew. or like um I don't even know if I want to list. It's almost like a sea foam. Almost. It's not really teal. It's not as vivid as a teal, but close enough. Yeah. It, um, it's, it's unsaturated teal. Unsaturated teal, which is not, not like... Yeah, like the dull, dull yeah. teal. I didn't realize... The color that, that is. I didn't realize the toe, the toe, the toe and the actual um, first first lace, mm -hmm. lace, lace eyelets is actually kind of lever as well. That's yeah, dope. The, that's the the toe cap, the toe cap on the extra. I got on my uh, my every games right now, actually. Yeah. Um. Tell me, tell me. Cap, the toe cap. Hold on now. <laughs> the toe cap on uh, the airship is different. It's actually a wing. Um, you you have to lace through it. Yeah. But it's it's actually a uh, sewn in piece you know is is not just for aesthetic sake it's actually a more or less a functional piece yeah, however it, it, um it ties you it ties you in it ties you it ties your um foot in right the um the new book suede um material blocking combination on this is uh unique to this sneaker we haven't seen the uh, new book on these two or these three places on an airship at once. Mm -hmm. Um we didn't we haven't even seen a new book airship. This is the first new book that I will is it, new book or is it lever? It looks like new book to me. Uh, new 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 book is lever anyway, but uh, but it depends yeah, on yeah, the yeah, yeah. it's, yeah, yeah, it's but... not it's not quite leather, not quite sweet. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like um, in bro, between leather and suede. But look at that suede, bro. It looks like a towel. You look like you can wipe your face with it. This reminds me of the skunk dunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy, dope. bro. Got them on the back for uh, corporate. Got them. Uh, this is the store that's local in um, the Connecticut. Okay. Uh, sneaks. This is the store that Sneaks uh, was talking about when she was on the pod that day. So, um, yeah, brand branding on the inside or embroidery on the inside, rather. Um, so these bottom. ain't gonna be available. These ain't gonna be available everywhere. <sighs> they will. They'll. Pro I'm hoping. Stitched in corporate on the side. That's stupid. I'm hoping these will get a wider release, but the way corporate got them operates, they'll probably handle this more like I'm a money air does their airships. And I we spoke on this when we when we saw airships starting to release all the white um and, and the, the one color uh colorways that we the white and orange, white and yellow, white and green, white and yeah. When we saw those, I said I want to see the boutiques versions we said, of the airship. And we said it. And that's what we've been yeah. seeing. We saw Amo Mayer do two of them. We saw Awake NY with that uh, sale red and blue color. We, I'm not too interested in that one. But this one, I think this one, this corporate got him pair might draw a lot of attention. Yeah, he's going to. They're just the material is long going to. It already, it already um, uh, sparked my attention. I, I thought this was going to be super limited, but like you, you know what? Um, we 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 predicted it so spot on. Like um, we, when you know when we talk about like guys, if you've been following us and you've been listening to us, you probably know what what I'm going to say next. We actually kind of said that the next what's the next step with the airship, and when we saw we saw that I'm in the airship, and I thought the next step. Well, we, we kind of came to a conclusion that there's definitely going to be a collaboration coming soon. There's definitely going to be a collaboration coming soon with an artist. Um, and then you said boutiques was going to be the next move, and it's it's happening. More and more boutiques are jumping onto the airship to kind of give it a notoriety. Um, bro, so I'm I'm so Soulfly will do the airship soon. I reckon. 
Um, it might be next year. They might do an airship potentially. I'm waiting for it, I, bro. I'm still waiting for that um, Diamond Turf Jordan Eight. I'm, 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 I'm waiting to see what happens with that Soulfly Diamond Turf, uh, Diamond Turf um, Jordan Eight. But that's to see what happens with that Soulfly. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to start moving on to the airship. It's only a matter of time before some like Travis or um, or Khaled or someone like that does an airship collaboration. I don't want to see them do it. I want I want to I wanted to stay with boutiques. I want to see Union. I want to see Pada. I want to see uh, anybody that it makes sense for yeah. story wise. I want to see Touch of Airship. Eventually I don't want coming. to see celebrity. Uh, it's eventually it's coming. It's inevitable. Eventually it's coming. I think by the end it'll be at um because we know in my mind at this point Nike is trying to replace the Jordan One with the airship. They see it. Yeah, they see the Jordan mm-hmm. One declining. I was thinking about it earlier today. I think they need to chill on ones. Um, the Palomino's oh. coming in a couple of weeks, the Royals coming this year, uh at, at the end of the year. I think they need to chill. And really, really drop ones sparingly and sprinkle in ships in between the ones. Not so much, but I want to see, I want to see this, like what they doing, like what what, what corporate got them is doing with this monotone, the whole shoe, one color. I dig that. People got to take, start taking risks with the airship because the the silhouette is so simple. It it kind of. This is the first time it's happened. This is the first, like, if you really think about it, Nigel Sylvester just put a little bit of blue on it. He did. All he the, started. All the, yeah, he started it, but like, but he still didn't do it to the magnitude of what we see now. Like we every like when with the new beginnings pack, like we obviously saw um, the band airship, which was all black and, and a bit of red, which which is quite kind of similar to what we're seeing with the white variations, which is all white with a bit of like red or yellow or green or that, like we had a bit like the every game's got a little bit of blue. Um, the Amman Manu has got blue and, bl- and a black variation, but obviously white, predominantly white with black. Now, I think, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the first time we've seen predominantly all over just one right. color. Yeah. Um, and 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 this is why it's bringing. This is why it's drawing attention. Now saying that, bro, this this situation is uh, not for resale. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty much um, written on the shoe, on the inside the embroidery. It says for the city. So um, yeah. the way it's going for ships right now, like the. The black and white and the blue um, on my year airships are both below 300 resale. Yeah. So um, we may see a similar outcome with this corporate pair. And bro, it all, all depends on how limited it is. And then all this the, like this, this, the best, this the best airship. Yep. Um, this is the best airship to drop since they brought them back. I'm going to say I, that. I'm 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 gonna say this is this is literally not for this is the not for resale variation of the airship. Um, it's got it's even I'm a Minier, even like even I'm a Minier, the blue variations like reminds me of not for resale. <coughs> very limited, very limited, very very exclusive, very regional as well. Um, and that's it done, dusted, bang. Um, and that you guys in the states are getting most of these like phenomenal pairs anyway. Um, but. Saying that, when I was talking and when I was thinking, I was thinking of a, a purple, dark purple variation of that. Bro, 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 bro. Going too far. I'm going too far. <laughs> I'm going too far. Let's not. We can't. We no, no, no. I know. We're doing good. I know. <laughs> We're doing I, good. I want to see more of what they just done. I yeah. want to see more of that. That's Please why I, give me more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't it's coming. <laughs> if they they just just like just like Nigel started it with doing uh I mean it was a PE but it's a collab still. Yeah. yeah. I just started it. It's gonna be a while before it's over for the S 
Yeah, yeah. Like, bro, I, I, talking back about the Jordan 1 again, like con we consistently talk about it. And uh, I, I, like, the l l last comment on I got on my um, on my YouTube video uh, on, the, on the Elephant Prince is, I can't believe this Elephant Prince is being disrespected so much because obviously it's, not, it's another grey, white and grey sneaker and it's, it's so dope. Um, a lot of people are still rotating, ro rotating to the actual Elephant Print ones and I, I think still, people are still respecting it and buying it when, if they like it. But with a lot of pairs, a lot of these player, pairs, everything's sitting, everything's going on sale. Bro... I saw this after I saw this after the lost and found. I saw this with the taxis, bro. The taxis is a phenomenal sneaker, and it got disrespected. And what did I say? I, I said, if Jordan Brown was clever, they would just retract the Jordan one after the lost and found. Like they would not do as many pairs after the lost and found, but they didn't listen. It is what it is, man. They're gonna have to uh, figure it out. We are gonna be here, but um. And I've already given I've already given my strategy as well. Like I've already uh, given my strategy. So they're not listening. <laughs> we know that. So. They need to listen. They need to listen. But yeah, bro, it's all about com commercialism anyway. So basically make as many pairs, put them all out, and sell as many as much as you can and make them as much profit. But at the end of the day, uh, in the lo long term, my my whole f thought process on that is that the long term in the long term, it's detrimental to the business and the company anyway, because obviously um, you, you, they are relying on trends constantly. Next trend, next trend, next trend. And it's only a matter of time before people start getting fed up and moving on to different brands. And we've seen that already, bro. Yeah, we don't already know. <laughs> like, yeah. We're still here. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's whatever. It's kind of whatever because they, they doing too much. They're doing too much of certain things. And until yeah. until um the climate changes they gonna have to make the change so yeah, yeah, obviously, like you, there's only uh, it's only uh, as many prehistoric sneakers you can bring back. You might as well bring back the dino dinosaur foot if you if you really want to go back that far. See what I'm that's saying? That's what so, we want. Though. That's what we want, though. So we ain't gonna be mad at that. I'm waiting on Dion right now. The Barclays <laughs> coming back. The clubbers. The, clubbers. <laughs> the, the Barclays about to drop. Um, <laughs> I like air shields. Oh, I mean, Yo, they bro, just got to do, do it in the right way, and it, everything will work. It's, it's not everything ain't gonna be a hit like it was because everybody wasn't buying for the same reason. But as far as um, the real uh, diehard consumer base, if they do it right, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. But can can you imagine if they actually produce the dark like mischief, oh, bro? Imagine Mischief produced a dinosaur sneaker and it actually was a raptor with a raptor claw on it. I wouldn't put it. <laughs> oh, that's ha that's that's happened already. Has it? Yeah. With an actual with an actual with an actual sneaker that you can wear <laughs> and it's got a raptor <laughs> claw on it. Really? That's why are you why are you acting like you're surprised? I've never seen it, bro. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> if it is, if it is good on you guys, if it is good on you guys. <laughs> And you're actually looking this up right now as we speak, yeah? <laughs> you don't believe it, so I gotta show you, right? Okay. Show me the magic. Show me the magic, bro. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but uh, sp speaking on speaking on other subjects, like, like what happened with a Kobe Bryant? Let's go on some some main main topics. What happened with the Kobe Bryant Night Karachi PE that actually released for the first time ever, bro? It disappeared. <laughs> Where did Houdini actually go? go abracadabra. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Benzino. Um... Yeah, the the Harachi flight Lakers. It might have they might have well called it Lakers PE because mm -hmm. if you know, you know <clears throat> that shoe disappeared, bro. It's a Kobe mm -hmm. shoe. It might as well be the Kobe Harachi. Um, that black, purple, and yellow colorway of that Harachi was only seen 
on the feet of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, yeah. When he was a sneaker free agent. And that sneaker is part of the reason why we have Kobe Nikes to this day. Yeah. When Kobe left Adidas, every company was making Laker colorway sneakers for Kobe, and he wore a whole lot of different brands with Laker colorways, a lot of which are coveted. Uh, we just saw the Lakers um, answer, the, the Kobe Iverson colorway, purple the way, toe I, and the yellow toe. I saw the questions, um, the yellow toe questions that Kobe wore. Yeah. Bro, that, that lever on that is stupid, bro. That's what I'm talking about. So Crazy. That's what I'm talking about. And if we know Kobe the way we feel like we know Kobe, he only rocked the ones that um, should have been rocked. Because yeah. everything that Kobe wore from the retro Jordans to the Harachis to the, the Iversons is coveted in the sneaker community and are held at... I can't say grill. I don't want to say grill. Not mm -hmm. not all of them. Of course, the retros, the threes, and the eights are. But at this point in time, we have to now at least consider that Laker Harachi for grill status because of what yeah. happened with the police. That 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 disappeared. We we didn't even see anything <laughs> in the UK with that. And talking talk about seeing not a lot of things in the UK. Yo, bro, I went to I went to the mall this weekend. Uh, I had a whole week off, so I went to the mall. Um, what you guys call the mall? What we call we call, call the shopping center. Um, basically, bro, sketches and Snoop Dogg. That was the first time I realized Snoop Dogg was in in liaison with sketches and and basically producing a couple of variations. And obviously, you can see some of these variations. You got like a black slip on, a white slip on, with obviously some of that paisley print on it, some of that smoke on the back. Some of the, with some of these sneakers, a black variation down here. It's got smoke on the back. Obviously, we know Snoop Dogg and and um, and uh, marijuana and stuff like that is a high magnitude of his lifestyle. Um, but yeah, but I've never seen any of these. We, we, I've never seen any of these at all, bro. At all. Before I hit the mall. I didn't even know Snoop Dogg had a collaboration with Sketches. And yeah. I know, and I talked to you about this offline, and you were like, yeah, there's loads of adverts for that. I was like, we ain't got no adverts. No, 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 no. What I said was, let me ask you a question. Yeah. How often do you see Snoop on TV? Uh, not a lot. I actually, I actually kind of follow him on like YouTube a bit more, like where he did podcasts and stuff like that, which, yeah. which I think they're hilarious. They're yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. hilarious. Yeah, for sure. Snoop is on TV every day in the US. Damn. If you if you watch enough TV, you will see Snoop Dogg doing three to four different things on TV selling you things he sells corona he sells um insurance he he got tv shows he got product oh that's what i meant to pull up i'm sorry because i asked you uh when we had this conversation i yeah. asked you had you ever seen or heard of rap snacks nope not 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 to my knowledge but th th this this kind of shows you the difference between the magnitude of of um of the states in terms of st how it's still the epicenter or or the what do you call it or the mecca of sneakers because basically if you if you really think about it in that perspective so, some of the releases that you guys get like trainers and 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 um kobe's and harachis and harachi highs and you bro we don't see any of that in the, in the uk at all uh, and, it is, and it's probably got more to do with the fact that there's not a lot of people that pick it up over here anyway, but it's still the availability of it is, is limited, super limited in this country. I, I think it's more of a cultural thing than yeah, just a sneaker thing. Like we see it from the sneaker perspective because that's uh, we spend a lot of time in that space. Mm -hmm. But when you brought this up to me, I couldn't help but go broader with it. 
because of the fact that I did I've known about the the Snoop Dogg Skechers for at least a year. Yeah. And it didn't get traction in the sneaker space because Skechers. Yeah, yeah. But as far as pop culture is concerned in the US, I knew about it because it's yet another Snoop Dogg business venture. And people at this point know Snoop for doing everything. <laughs> like Snoop that had TV shows, and Snoop Dogg entrepreneuring, entrepreneuring. Bro, his everything he does with Martha Stewart. Of course, he's in the cannabis business. Um, like you say, his his media stuff. He doing uh, commentary on boxing. Like Snoop is, and he do he does Corona commercials, bro. Corona is one of the most popular beers worldwide. Yeah. And Snoop sitting on the beach, you can't you can't see a, a Corona commercial that's been produced in the past couple of years without seeing Snoop. He was mm-hmm. doing them by himself. Now he got other people on the commercials with him. He doing he got cameos on the commercials with him, but it's his campaign. He started it by himself. You know, just him on the beach drinking the Corona, talking. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's Snoop, bro. So like that's why I I brought up rap snacks because. I, I wanted to know if if you ever seen this before. Had nope. if y'all if y'all got these, because nope. look, this is the type of stuff that we see over here. Our the big stars over here, like 